Hey you guys, it's Caroline. I am back with a new video. I am going to be doing this beautiful install with this beautiful hairstyle on my beautiful model, Miss Patience. So, if you want to see how I got this fabulous crimps hairstyle, then keep on watching. Alright, so I received this way from a hair company called So Good Hair. I will leave all the links in the description box for So Good Hair if you guys want to check them out. But this sent me this beautiful wig inside of the box came these gorgeous lashes. It did come with the wig inside. And then, of course, um, they did send me um, an attached elastic band. And then, of course, they also sent me um, stocking caps. All right, so right out of the box, I was super excited. You can see me jumping over there and my model was laughing at me because I was super excited. This wig is a pre-made fix scalp wig. So one, I do not have to do the bleaching knots on this wig. Two, I do not have to do the ball cap method on this wig. And I was trying to explain to her um, the quality of having a pre fix scalp wig. So, we're going to move into the details of this wig. This wig is 150 density um, of hair and then the length is 22 inches. Now, um, right out of the box, the wig can pre-plug already. So, I also do not have to pre-plug this wig. You can see how that hairline looks very nice and very natural. And the baby hair was very soft and it looks so natural when I put it on her. Now, inside of the wig, you guys can see, it did come with the pre-made fixed scalp underneath the, um, the wig cap, which makes this process easy. I do not have to do any ball cap method on this wig. The knots can bleach already, so I also do not have to bleach the knots. Now, the wig did come with the elastic band hooks already attached. All you got to do is um, attach the elastic band um, on each side of the wig if you need extra security. And then, of course, in the back of the wig came two adjustable scribes and then it came with um, four combs inside. And, of course, it came with the mesh um, cap in the middle. So that is the details of the wig. I will leave the links in the description box for So Good Hair if you guys want to check them out. Now, this is the beauty of having a pre-made fixed scalp wig. I did not have to bleach the knots on this wig. I did not have to do the ball cap method on her hair before putting the wig on. All I'm doing is putting the wig on because all of that jazz is already done. So once I have the wig on, on her hair, I am adjusting it, just making sure I have it over her hairline, making sure it's positioned right over her hairline and then i'm just going to take my pair of scissors and i'm going to cut off the extra um lace around the hairline of this wig like i said this is a pre-made fix scalp i did not have to do the bleaching of knots on this wig and i did not have to do the butt cap method before putting the wig on and this is the beauty of having a pre-made fixed scalp wig. You can definitely check out this company. They have from body wave to deep wave to curly hair to loose wave, all type of texture. And you can get them made with a pre-made fixed scalp. So moving on, all I'm doing now is taking a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut off all the extra lace from around her hairline.
All right, so after cutting the lace um, all around her hairline, I went ahead and separated a baby hair in the front of her hairline. Um, she wanted this wig to be a uh, all day hole. She did not want the glue for um, a long hole. She just wanted it to be whole for the entire day. So all I did was use a little bit of got to be spritz and I spray it in between the hairline. And yes, I am using an elastic band to tie down the front of her hair just to give her that extra melt, just to make sure that the lace is completely melted onto her hairline so it's not noticeable at all. Now, I did leave the elastic band on for about 10 minutes. Now, if you do put this elastic band on yourself or a client, make sure you are checking on the client because this elastic band, girl, this thing hurt, okay? It gave the person a headache. It can be tight. It can be uncomfortable. So, make sure you are checking on your client if you do put the elastic band to give you that extra melt. Uh, moving on, this hair is 150 density. You can see how thick and four the wig is, okay? Um, but she asked me to give her a crim hairstyle. She always wanted some crims um, hairstyle on a wig. So she asked if I could do it. I said, sure, why not? Let's do it. So we are going to crimp this entire hair up. Now moving on to the crimping, I start off in the back. I suction each section and then I use a little bit of holding spray. I use a little bit of spray and then I use a little bit of deep um, not deep, but regular leave-in condition. So I apply the spritz in the holding spray. That would give the crumbs a nice um, hold, uh, but the leave-in condition will add that little softness to the crumbs so it doesn't look as hard and it doesn't feel as hard. It will look a little bit more natural than some hard crumbs over your head, okay? So I am using my crimp curling iron um this is from hot tools i start off in the back i section each section in the back and then i'm um, starting off on the top i use the crimp curling iron i place it on each section i leave it in place for about 10 to 15 seconds then i move it downwards now this hairstyle i'm not even gonna lie if anybody is trying to get you to do it it will take time so make sure you are patient to do the entire hair because you have to wait for each section to crimp and then you have to work your way down till you get to the end. And then you got to do it section by section. So it does take time. It does require some patience. So if you are going to do this, make sure you inform your clients that it's going to take a little bit of work and a little bit of time to achieve the hairstyle. And once you have the entire section crimps, this is how the crimps looks. You can see how beautiful that hairstyle is crimped. Um, this um, hairstyle does take time. It does take patience to um, crimp up the entire wig. But this is what I'm going to do to achieve the entire hairstyle.
Now, after curling our entire back section, you can see how pretty that looks. The crumbs look so bomb. I was so excited um, for this hairstyle. But I went ahead and I took the elastic band off. And you can see that melt. You can see how um, nice and natural that hairline looks in the front. Like I said, I did not pre-plug this wig. It came pre-plug already. And the elastic band with the got to be spray just gave a nice little hole and it just makes the melt in the front look nice and seamless and that's the look we were going for so moving on now i just went ahead and suction off a little bit of baby hair she did ask for a little bit of baby hair and then of course i went ahead and used my holy grail my nairobi um foaming wrap and i went ahead and slicked down her baby hair and then i used my Senex wrap strip to tie the baby hair down just so that it dries and stay in place Once after making the baby hair, I went ahead and applied a little bit of got to be spray just to keep the baby hair in place. Then I applied my Cenex wrap to her hairline just to um, hold the lace down. And then I went ahead and put her on the, the dryer, okay? And she sat under the dryer for about 15 to 20 minutes. Then I took her out. She was completely dry and this is how her baby hair looks. She was laid and she was hyped and she couldn't wait for the hairstyle to be finished. So we're going to move on to applying the rest of the crimps on this wig and finish up this hairstyle. And just in case you was wondering what was going on on my head, yes, I did cut my hair if you follow me on Instagram. You will know that I did cut my hair um, since December and I was giving myself a deep conditioner when I had the plastic cap on. Now I was done and I went ahead and molded my hair and I applied a Cenex wrap and I'm going to wait for it to dry while I finish up her hairstyle. So just in case you was wondering what was going on with my hair. That's what's going on with my hair. Moving on to finishing this hairstyle.
So finish up the hairstyle. She did ask me for a side part. So I went ahead and I gave her a side part. And then I used my wax stick to smooth out the top um, of the hair um, and make the parting space look really nice and smooth on top. And then I also apply a little bit of wax stick to the hair on top before I apply the spritz and the holding spray. And then I went in with my crimper again and crimped the top part to finish up this hairstyle. After applying the crimps, I was so in love with the finished results. Um, you guys can see how gorgeous these crimps turn out to be, how gorgeous this wig is, and I did less work except for making the crimps, which was a lot of work to put it in. But um, installing the wig was easy because, like I said, this was a pre-made fake scalp wig um but you can see how gorgeous this hairstyle turned out to be this is the finished results i hope you guys love it like i did um i really enjoy um doing this video and i will leave all the links in the description box for so good hair if you guys want to check out this pre-made fake scalp wig and it does and it do they do have various type of hair texture um, body wave, curly, straight, um, loose wave, hair texture, if you want to get this pre-made fixed scalp wig. But I absolutely love, love, love this finished result. So I want to tell you guys thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. For to this video, as always, I love you guys and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.